<laughs> all right, Luda, like every other parent in the country, it is an all hands on deck situation for you right now. Are your youngest daughters doing virtual learning this year? And how does it work in your household? Oh my God. Yes, they so are. Oh, they're cute. They're so they're beautiful. So cute. Oh my God. So cute. Thank you. Yeah, I'm a girl dad. So it's like, I, you know, I, it's hard for me whenever they give me that face and you know, they don't want to do something. And it's like, I, I, I'm not the, I'm not the hard one on them. So yes, virtual <laughs> school is kind of, it, it's difficult and you have to learn, but I definitely, education is so important. So I have to be, that's when I'm strict. I have to be strict with everything else. I'm a softy on because those girls, they, they run me, they run me. Oh, right. Well, it, me and Garcelle were just talking about virtual learning, including things like PE, where they got to get active in like a small space of a room. So what kind of dad are you when it comes to homeschooling? Do you get up in there with them or do you just like <laughs> check in on their homework? What do you do? Yeah, luckily, I have so many extracurricular activities at the home that I, that I live at. So they're playing tennis. You can go to my Instagram at Ludacris. You'll see all the stuff they're doing. They play basketball. I have them. You know, running around my lake like it's all like they stay active. It's important <laughs> That's to be outside. Amazing. Very I important. Love that. I got I them love running that. around my lake. I don't think many students can <laughs> no, say that. Come on. So <laughs> if that was not if that was not the humble brag, he said they <laughs> running around my lake. They <laughs> hitting up around my sports on my property. <laughs> they are playing basketball on the basketball courts. Go I'm ahead, black man, you, Chris. That's right. Listen, <laughs> y'all just said it. twenty year it's anniversary. Y'all said twenty years, right. so this is twenty years of work. Right. So hard work pays off. That's all. Let them know. That's my right. that. I love that. I love yeah. that. Well deserved. Well, your newest project. With your newest project, it actually seems like the girls have definitely helped inspire you with Kid Nation. We want to hear all about this. Do tell. Man, so it's crazy. Like, obviously, I do adult content music. And, you know, when we have kids, they mostly want to sing along to the adult content, even if it's the clean version. And That's you so see them mouthing the words. And sometimes it's like, <laughs> man, I have to, I thought to myself, I have to create something that's just as good as everything that we love to listen to as adults, uh, but make it just as current with the production. And, you know, it's just as good as the Taylor Swifts and the Ludacris's and the Jay-Z's and Beyonce's, but imagine a world where you're actually talking about math or talking about science or good grades or manners. Oh, that's what Kid Nation that. is, and that's why we created that. this. So Absolutely. Good. So that it's is incredible. I just saw you in right that. there. The clips look yeah. incredible. The visuals look incredible. How Thank did you. music influence you when you were a kid? Man, I used to wake up every morning. Like, my father would be playing Michael Jackson or, or Prince or Frankie Beverly and May. So it's like, it got instilled yes. in me every single morning I woke up. And that's why I love music so much. So it's this is just balancing out the world and me being the change that I want to see in the world. And I wish I had this as a kid. So when you go on KidNation.com or you download the app, you will see for yourself, it's absolutely amazing. You have to trust me on this. And we have different genres of music. So there's pop, rock and roll, hip hop, R&B. I mean, this is something that's going to change the world for the better. And that's what I'm trying to do, for sure. I'm excited to check it out for my nieces, for sure. Definitely helping boys. the babies. Now, you're also a part of the Drive Hope for Kids campaign, which is giving away a 2021 Ford Bronco plus $50,000. The campaign is all about helping those in need during these hard times. Let's take a look at the work you're doing with the Boys and Girls Club. When it's safe, I'm going to fly you and a guest to L.A. and hand you the keys to the Bronco myself. Over lunch, that is. For a chance to win, all you got to do is go to winanewbronco.com. The best part is, donation raised will help transform the lives of 10,000 kids at Boys and Girls Clubs across the country. We just getting started. And these can be some tough conversations to have with the kids. So, Ludacris, how do you go about having these tough conversations with them? Well, I mean, literally, that's a lot about what Kid Nation is about, to open up these conversations. We have a song and a video on there that's, that's, that's talking about Get Along that's um, you know dealing with the BLM. And we have a song that's talking about COVID. It's called Stay Clean. We're working on a song about wearing a mask. In, I mean, you name it, we're working on it and we oh, have it great. on our site. So that's literally how I open up conversation with them because that's the best way to do it. And they start asking questions and you can, you can literally just have the greatest conversation that wouldn't have even you know come up if you didn't show them this type of material. And that's what we're so proud about, yep. So smart. Oh, we proud of you. Genius way to incorporate okay. the kids, man. That's so dope. <laughs> Ludus, say thank you so much for hanging out with us today and for all the good work that you're doing. Make sure, real fam, that you check out kidnation.com and for your chance to win $50,000 plus 
a fully customized 2021 Ford Bronco, all for a yep. great cause, go to winanewbronco.com.